Hello and welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the Arthritis Show. Joining us in our studio is Dr. Martin Dayton. Uh, Dr. Martin Dayton, welcome. As usual. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Dr. Martin Dayton is a frequent guest because he has a vast knowledge and uh, we are so lucky to have him on our show. Uh, Doc, for people out there uh, who uh, they really don't know about integrative medicine, can you tell them what that is all about? Sure. Integrative medicine is the combining of conventional and alternative or complementary medicine. Okay. Alternative medicine is that which is not usually practiced in most doctor's offices. And um, uh, complementary is that which also is not practiced in most doctor's offices, but it's used along with conventional medicine. Uh, perfect. So for when conventional medicine mm -hmm. essentially you know, doesn't help or fails to help, integrative medicine, I think that's a really excellent choice. Yes, integrative medicine offers uh, various advantages. One, it can include conventional medicine and it also uh, can address conditions that are not well addressed by conventional medicine and perhaps also address them in ways that conventional medicine does not. For example, we had a doctor here earlier who practices acupuncture. Acupuncture offers many advantages in, in that it doesn't involve toxic uh, medicine and you could get the job done perhaps in a safer way. Of course, acupuncture has its limitations as does conventional medicine. Excellent. Now, I understand your, uh, one of the particular area of interest in your practice is treatment of cancer and again, integrative treatment. Mm -hmm. And one of, the, uh, one of the newest thing in the field of uh, um, integrative medicine treatment of uh, cancer is uh, low dose naltrexone therapy. Uh, can you tell us about that? Sure. Low-dose low naltrexone uh, is used to address various immunological issues. Uh, historically, it was uh, first used by a Dr. Bahari in New York. Dr. Bahari had a large AIDS practice, and he wanted to improve the mood of, the, uh, of his uh, patients. So he felt that since naltrexone in larger doses reduces endorphin activity. Endorphins are the feel-good molecules that you get when you, uh, when you run. The run is high is induced by endorphins. Uh, so he used small amounts of naltrexone to uh, stimulate endorphin activity to make people happier. Unfortunately, it did not work. It didn't seem to improve mood. However, he found that the tumors in his patients were receding. And uh, they're, getting smaller. they're getting smaller. And what happened uh, was that he then started to use naltrexone for other patients with cancer. And he found it worked there. Then he started to use it with autoimmune conditions from uh, multiple sclerosis uh, to uh, sarcoidosis uh, to lupus. And he found that it was also helpful there. So we find that uh, endorphins are chemicals that have profound effects in our bodies. Uh, when we're happy and laughing, we, we have a lot of endorphins. There was a doctor, Dr. Cousins, actually wasn't a doctor, but he was a, uh, a person who had cancer and was told that he only had a short time to live. So he went to uh, a hotel and played uh, old funny movies, slapstick movies, and lo and behold, his cancer disappeared. So we find that endorphins play a big role in various maladies associated with the immune system. So people with multiple sclerosis improve, as I said before. I've seen people with uh, different autoimmune conditions improve dramatically, inclusive people of people who have ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. It's a, it's a very fascinating molecule. And what's really good about it, it's very inexpensive. Uh, naltrexone at 50 milligrams is used by conventional doctors to get people off of, uh, of drugs and alcohol. The idea is if you can reduce the, the endorphin activity, the feel-good molecule activity, by a, using a large amount of naltrexone, uh, the uh, uh, people could more easily uh, push away their, their drugs and, and the alcohol. Uh, by using it in small amounts, the uh, cost of it is greatly reduced because you're using less than uh, than one-tenth the usual and customary amount that's used in conventional medicine. Okay, perfect. So this is a very new thing. How, how many years do you think this has been going on? Oh, 
maybe about 10, 12 years as far as I know. Very new thing on uh, treatment of cancer. And I think you mentioned also that if you take it at low dose, it decreases. Not that it decreases, but you don't get the side effects. That you don't have to take as much chemotherapy agent, right? Oh, well, this, you know, the side effects of low-dose naltrexone are, are minimal. Right. Um, as far as uh, the use with uh, chemotherapy, there is a tendency to use less chemotherapy than uh, has been used in the past. And uh, you know, anything that uh, improves the body's ability to, to fight uh, disease, whether it be cancer or, or autoimmune conditions, uh, will allow uh, for a reduction in pharmaceutical medicines, Perfect. which can cause side effects. Perfect. Um, well, at this point, I want to take a break. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk more about integrative medicine.